what's up guys it's Chet Donath from Donath Outdoors whether you have an old weather deadhead or you're like me and you left your son's first buck outside for a year and a half and it got a little faded whatever it is I'm not here to judge you I am here to show you how you can restore your antler back to its original and natural looking state in this video I'm gonna show you using coffee grinds I have an old deadhead that has um, say skin on it or muscle still on it or you just got a buck that has uh, skin and muscle still on it and you don't know what to do with it you can do a do-it-yourself European mount and I have a video on that if you want to check it out I'll put it up on the screen for you if then you get it to that point and you think the skull is not white enough I have a skull whitening video that is also on my channel you can either check it out by going on the channel or I will put a link at the top of the page and you can check that out so just so it's noted make sure you use fresh coffee grinds that you haven't used yet. Um, I had tried to use used coffee grinds um, because I feel like wasting coffee is a sin, but uh, it did not work very well and it had a very faint color. And so you wanna use real coffee grinds. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot water. It doesn't have to be like boiling hot, just hot enough to get some of those colors to come out. Now you got a couple of different ways you can apply it. You can use a brush to just paint it on like you would a stain. Or you can do what I'm doing here and just kind of put it on with your hands. I think it goes faster with the hands, but it is a lot less messy if you use um, a paintbrush. You don't have to worry about gloves or anything like that. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to rub it onto the antler like so. Go ahead and apply this liberally. Try not to get it on the skull if you can. If you're a really messy person, I don't judge you, but I would recommend you putting some type of either saran wrap or tape. Painter's tape will work fine around the skull so you don't get it on the skull itself. If you do though, however, you can also check out my skull video and figure out how to whiten it up. So like I said, don't be shy. Get it everywhere. You want it on nice and thick. You can already tell there's quite a difference between the original antlers that were real weathered, sun bleached, kind of white, you know. Now we've got a nice um, differentiation between the skull itself and the antlers. And it won't look this black once it gets nice and dry. It'll be a little bit more of a a brown. But if you want to go less brown and more of like a like a tan color, tea works really good for that. Nice even coat. So I'm gonna let that dry for a few hours and then we'll, um, like I said, make sure you take a rag or something and get all of these coffee grinds off. Don't let them coffee grinds sit on that that antler. Just getting these coffee grinds off and then We'll let her dry, see what it looks like. All right guys, welcome back. So it's been about an hour and everything looks pretty dry. It's kind of still a little bit wet around the, the base, but I am super happy with how it turned out. There's obviously a huge difference between if you go back to the very beginning of the video before I stained it and to now, there's obviously a huge difference. You can see the differentiation between the colors between the skull and the antlers now instead whereas before it's just pretty much all white there's you know sometimes an all white skull that looks kind of weathered um, up on a barn or something that looks pretty cool but I really like how when you when you color them or when you stain them uh, with either this method or another method you can really see the detail throughout the entire antler and I really think it brings out a lot of the beauty, you know, and a lot of the character in each individual whitetail. So I think it turned out pretty good. If this has helped you guys at all and you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button. If you like the outdoors and you want to learn more outdoor skills, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care.